Hi, my name is Asha and a few months ago I converted my old Subaru Forester XT Sports with manual transmission into a camper and embarked on a really long solo road trip around North America while living in my car. Since then I've driven almost 11,000 miles, which I think makes me confident enough to talk both about my build and pros and cons of the gear I'm using. You will find a video explaining my whole build from the scratch um, on my YouTube channel, so um, go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And now let's get into it. What do I think about my build? I love it. Uh, it's super functional, it works great. I tested it properly and I don't think there is a single thing I would design differently. The only minor thing I would probably adjust in the future is our sliding tables. Uh, I have two sliding tables here and they go much farther out. Uh, and as you can see, this one gets a little bit stuck. Why is it? It's because I didn't give them any space here. In the future, I would probably, or I will probably uh, put washers here to space those um, layers a little bit. Why they work right now? They work because I sanded the other sides of the um, sliding tables when I was at the Airbnb. My host was kind enough to bring me or lend me a um, sander. They may get stuck uh, when it's wet outside, when I'm in an environment uh, that is, uh, is super humid. But um, it never happened, so uh, it's more me being paranoid than actually them being designed in a wrong way. It's really important to mention that this car is always this tidy. Why is it like that? Because when you're on the road, you want to know where your things are. So basically every single item has its own place and every single nook has its own purpose. This works great for me. Um, there were a few times I put my AirPods somewhere and then it took me a day or two to find them because they rolled somewhere underneath my platform or were tangled in my clothes. So uh, here is my tour. As you can see, uh, I designed my build in a way that um, those little containers from Home Depot, which cost $2, fit into it. These are this, those three are my uh, food storage containers. I keep this is my breakfast, this is usually my tea and stuff like that, and this is my dinner container. Um, this one holds my utensils. Uh, this is all I carry with me um, one cup, one bowl, uh, one fork, one spoon, and one knife, and a spatula. I um, use this bubble wrap to prevent them from breaking when I drive on bumpy roads. Those little stoppers prevent also uh, the containers from sliding. And as you can see, I utilized an elastic cord in many places in my car, uh, which is a great solution. Um, it works great, nothing slides, nothing... Um, I don't lose anything. It's just great. Um, here is the, a little cutting board. I have one more container here uh, with my first aid kit and toiletries. I don't need an, um, an easy access to it because I don't use it every single day. So it sits secure here. Additionally, I have two shelves here, uh, which are pretty deep and, deep and big. Um, I uh, store my clothes here and my electronics. Um, clothes rotate uh, based uh, on the weather. Uh, I've already camped in a really hot weather um, in Texas. I camped in a really cold weather in the Tetons and Glacier National Park with where the wet, when the temperatures dropped below zero. So basically, whatever I need at a certain time, I put here and the uh, rest of my clothes uh, go underneath the platform. There is a storage unit there, which I will show you later. 
let's talk about the left side of my trunk. Here is my windshield cover, uh, which I made by myself. I roll it every single day and uh, use this hook to um, hold it in place. Uh, here is a cargo pocket that I bought on Amazon. Um, I have a sanitizing spray here. I have an olive oil and a pan. I don't use this pan very often, but um, it's a really good pan. Um, it's convenient to use. I usually uh, toast my bread on it. It's a non-stick um, pan, so it serves the purpose. Um, here is my um, here is my only pot I have. It's a stainless steel pot. It's thin. It's easy to wash, and it has those little holes here, so it's super easy to strain something. It's a really good pot. I would recommend, like 100% recommendation for this one. Uh, I have two canisters here. Um, why I use two, I will explain in a moment. And two uh, reusable bags. One is for groceries and the other one is um, for um, showering. Uh, why do I have two um, canisters? because I use two different um, stoves. Um, when I was uh, embarking on this trip, I uh, wasn't sure which stove I want to use and which um, gas is better, um, or fuel, actually. It's called fuel in English. Uh, this one is an isobutypropane mix, and the other one is simple butane. So this one is much better in high altitudes and lower temperatures. Um, it works better, it heats everything faster. It's also much easier to get in the US. Um, you can get it in, a, in national parks, in you know, information centers, um, at gas stations. This is much easier to obtain. Um, this is butane. Uh, it's not, it doesn't work as well as the isopropane butane <laughs> fuel, but I use it because it's much easier to use the stove. The butane stove is much more sturdy. Basically, when I cook, I just put my pot there and I'm not worried that it will tilt. Uh, while my, <laughs> the, this one, the uh, isobutane propane mix, um, goes well with this little stove uh, which is great because it's it's just small i bought it years ago when i was backpacking catalina island and i decided to take it with me on this road trip as well it's that easy though it's less convenient you have to make sure that the water or the pot with water will not tilt and spill. But this little thingy, the pocket rocket, pulls water really fast and it makes this uh, really funny rockety sound. Two important things. One, I will put links to the items I use in the description of the video so you can click on them. Second is uh, a disclaimer, gear is super expensive. I had been preparing for this trip for a really long time, so I used every opportunity I had to save money. Just take advantage of coupons on offers uh, like Black Friday or Mother's Day to um, buy items that you need. Thanks to spreading my purchases in time, I saved hundreds of dollars. So um, that's the end of the disclaimer. Let's go next. Water jug. Uh, I think it holds 10 or 12 liters of water. It works great. Again, I utilized a little cord to hold it so it doesn't rattle. There is a reason why everything in this car is black. Uh, black um, mattress cover, black towel, 
even my sleeping bag has a black side. Uh, when I travel, I don't want people to know that my car is a camper, that I'm alone. Um, as a woman, uh, I simply don't feel comfortable with it. So what I do is I basically turn everything into dark darkness. Uh, so when somebody passes my car or drives behind me and the sun hits uh, the window, um, they cannot see my car go here. They only see darkness. And that's what I do before um, I head somewhere. I basically use this towel to cover my plywood and my containers and nobody knows that I'm traveling. Also, this, this um, little window is always covered. Um, it's black from this side, so nobody can take a pic. These four items keep me warm at night. I um, use a sleeping bag liner, which is made out of cotton and silk, so I don't have to wash my sleeping bag too often. When you backcountry camp, you don't take a shower every single day. Um, so thanks to this little thing, you basically keep everything clean because this is the only item you have to wash every time you do the laundry. Second, I have a wool, it's pretty light, wool blanket. I have a sleeping bag. Um, it's a down sleeping bag. I don't know the rating because I was gifted this bag, so um, I don't know much about it. But additionally, when I was uh, camping in the Tetons recently, uh, it was really cold at night. And uh, because I was camping in a grizzly bear country, I couldn't open one windows. So in the morning or during the night, when I was breathing in the car, uh, there was moisture in the car that stayed in the car. So the sleeping bag was getting really, really wet. And in result, it was getting cold. Uh, so, uh, in order to prevent it from getting wet and me being cold at night, I bought this little synthetic blanket, which doesn't get wet, and I put it on top of my sleeping bag. So basically, when I'm really, really cold, uh, when the temperatures drop below zero, I wrap myself in this liner, then I go inside my sleeping bag, then I put this rumple i think that's how you say it rumple uh, puffy blanket on top of it and usually this one uh, stays here um, the problem with this car is that uh, my feet get really cold at night because uh, the trunk is not insulated so uh, this <laughs> this little dude is a barrier and keeps my feet Warm. What keeps me warm at night are also those window covers. I made them by myself. They are made out of reflectix and black um, fabric. Uh, I explained how they work in one of my previous videos from the Rockies, so you can um, check it out later. What do I do to keep them in place? I basically utilize again an elastic cord. I used this hook and this hook and a handle over there and made a triangle and every single morning I slide them in here and they stay in place I can't see them they don't you know fall they don't uh, they're basically in place and um, that's where they place it I use them also as rails for my little lamp uh, my lamp has hooks here so I hang it on one of the cords and as you can see I can slide it wherever I want um, depending where I'm uh, sitting or where my head is because sometimes I sleep uh, with my head uh, near here near the trunk and sometimes uh, I'm facing the front of the car 
Um, this lamp is great. It has different modes. It also has little magnets, so as you can see, you can attach it to the car. I think there are different colors as well. And it's purple, you know, all this Shazam. I don't use it, so I don't know really why would you need a col colorful, colorful lamp, but it's there. And a mattress. My mattress is more comfortable than my bed at home. I sleep great in my car. I love sleeping in my car and I love sleeping on this mattress. It's uh, an expat, I can't remember the number right now, uh, but it self inflates. It's um, super warm. Uh, I think it has one of the highest ratings uh, of mattresses at least in REI, I don't know about the whole market, but uh, if you can afford it, go for it. Uh, it's also often on sale at REI, so this investment is definitely worth it. It took me a while to find the cover for it or uh, the sheet for it. Uh, it's uh, Finally, I found it on Amazon. Um, it fits perfectly. I can wash it every time I do laundry and basically um, this setup works really, really good, well for me. So let me uh, show you what's behind my seat. This is a little shelf which also serves me as a sitting area where, uh, when I need to change my clothes. Um, I'm right now in the high desert so I have additional water. And those are two water bottles. Uh, this is my dirty water bottle and this is my clean water bottle. I drink from this one and this is um, something that I use to when I, I, I can't, I, I arrive at the campground at night and I'm afraid or I don't want to leave the car. I, you know, I brush my teeth and spit into it or do all the dirty things <laughs> into it. Soap. It's always here. As I mentioned, this car, um, every item in this car needs uh, its own place. And uh, my soap, which is a multi-purpose outdoor wash, uh, always sits here. There is a cargo pocket here, which holds uh, my paper towels, my clean paper towels, and some of my toiletries and my hairbrush. Uh, why do I pack paper towels like this? Um, because uh, a roll usually rolls and uh, it gets dirty, so uh, to make sure that I don't get any um, eye infection when putting on my contact lenses or um, wiping um, off my face, I basically disinfect my hands um, before uh, putting those paper those like little leaves of paper towels in this Ziploc bag. Um, so I'm sure that this paper towel is always clean. Uh, I have a toothbrush here and again, an elastic cord, which holds my uh, shampoo and conditioner. Uh, I love these little pouches. I use pouches uh, everywhere and um, my contact lenses are here. This one is this is my left eye and this is my right eye. This is my little fruit hammock. I made it by myself. I crocheted it uh, actually at this campground in June. It was super hot and I was bored. I couldn't do anything. I had no reception and I just crocheted this little hammock. It's not perfect, but it serves the purpose. This is my additional hat which holds my uh, little pack. pack. This is insulation. Uh, this insulation works great. Uh, I'm really happy with it. The only thing is that I have to keep an eye on it and make sure that um, I don't spill water here. I once spilled water uh, on this little um, sitting area and then it went uh, on the insulation and it got really wet. There are cables underneath the insulation so I was really worried uh, something will happen. So this is the only thing I have to keep in mind. Here's my dirty laundry. Uh, I keep everything in a compression sack and um, 
these are my only shoes I have. I have uh, hiking shoes, my sandals, my Uggs, and those hokas. And that's all I need. And my uh, toiletry bag, which is actually a fanny pack whenever I go uh, to take a shower or um, to an Airbnb, I just carry it with me and then I attach it here and it um, sits in place. The other side of the car now. It's getting pretty chilly uh, on this desert. It's an amazing campground, by the way. There are mountain biking trails everywhere. Uh, I think it's one of my uh, favorite campgrounds ever. <laughs> uh, and let me show what's here. Here is the little shelf where I keep my um, stove. It's in the Eureka butane stove. Elastic cord again. It holds everything in place. My cooler. It's a Yeti Rodi 24 or 26. I have a love and hate relationship with my cooler. It serves the purpose. It keeps everything cool for days, even in hot weather. But it's a drag to uh, empty it. It's really heavy, of course, as every cooler is. So um, that's my least favorite part about having a cooler. But again, it serves the purpose. I also use the dirty um, water bottle. Uh, it's really cold to uh, scoop out uh, the water from the cooler so I don't have to lift it um, when it's heavy. And here is my storage unit. Uh, so I told you earlier that I have an additional storage underneath the platform and it's really big. Everything that is not needed at a certain time is here. Now it's time for the front. First of all, I have this amazing sunroof, which is one of my favorite things in this car. Uh, the sunroof simply makes my morning every single day. Here is here are my AirPods. I keep kept losing them in the car, so now they always sit here. Antibacterial wipes uh, always important on the road. Um, my hot water bottle and um, tools. Whoop. See, here are my uh, glasses and the air comp uh, compartment holds my Garmin. Uh, I hike a lot, I hike by myself, so it's good to have this device on you always. Additionally, when I travel in the US, there's, there's so many places without coverage uh, that I feel much safer um, when I have uh, this uh, Enrich Mini on me. Sunglasses. Um, here is, uh, here is a little lucky charm. Um, this is something that belonged to daughters of the previous owner of this car. I found this little donut underneath back seats uh, when I was removing them to build my platform. And I kept it as my lucky charm. It's always here. Don't ask about all those coins. Those are actually not coins. Those are tokens. Uh, I got in California when I was uh, camping in one of the state parks. Um, I put there $20 because I thought the uh, shower is much more expensive and in return I uh, received 80 tokens. Later when I asked it occurred that one token is three minutes of hot shower, hot water. I asked if I can exchange them back for the money and they said no. So I have all those tokens uh, that I may use in the future. Teacup, it's not the best teacup ever. It's, uh, it's simply not convenient enough for 
the road trip because in order to open you it you have to touch the lid uh, when you're on the road it's you don't wash your hands every time you touch the cup so um, it's uh, it doesn't really work for me on this road trip but besides that it keeps um, liquids hot for I would say three hours good design but not perfect for a road trip my notebooks and um, here is my headlamp and my gloves passenger seat always uh, holds um, warm jackets or something that I need immediately additionally there is my little pouch here uh, with my documents this is something that I carry always on me it can be used as a fanny pack or as a bag it's really convenient it was designed to hold cameras um, but I use it on a daily basis as you can see I, I'm charging my phone and my uh, GoPro battery is here. This one is Jackery 1000 Pro. It costs a lot of money, but it's worth it. Um, this is my only source of power. I charge my laptop, my um, electronics and my phone. I also use it to boil water uh, with a little immersive heater. It lasts me for almost a week. I can plug it here um, and uh, charge it while driving. It takes around three hours to fully charge uh, that jackery. Additionally, I can also, of course, plug it into a um, regular outlet and it takes less than two hours to um, be fully charged. I know there are options uh, for solar panels, but this is something that I found um, useless for me because I drive so much that I can simply um, charge it uh, through my car. Here is my hat. Uh, there is my uh, my car's oil model. This is a little spatula uh, which uh, is needed when you backcountry camp and you need to go to the toilet and. Um, there is no toilet around. This is what you use then. Um, again, I made another video about backcountry camping in Big Bend, Texas, so um, you can watch it. And my current read, something that I'm currently reading. I think this is it. I gave you guys a tour of my little home on wheels. I hope you found it inspiring, useful, or at least interesting. Um, please let me know in comments if you have any questions. Uh, I'm happy to answer them all. You can also find me on Instagram. And also please let me know if you have any suggestions regarding the videos I should record. Um, take into consideration the fact that I've already driven 11,000 miles alone uh, in the US as a woman. I'm happy to share my knowledge and um, lessons I've learned along the way uh, and I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye!